Hi everyone! Fiery Gizzard back to continue with the Doc Robot stages in Mega Man DL2. Now, they give you a choice of the order to go in, but just like in the original Mega Man 3, it doesn't matter what order you take, you don't win anything from these stages. Except that you get to progress through the game. I'm gonna go to Top Man first. And you get a choice, you can go to the original Top Man stage if you want to practice it or explore to find the little vortex, but we've already found it as you can see. So let's go to Doc Man, who apparently is a question mark. So yeah, now there are no default Robot Masters. You have every single one of them available, and you can use any one whenever you wish. So. I tend to find that my default is usually Quick Man, or Flash Man, or Metal Man. They're probably what I find to be the handiest. Quick Man for his speed, although I tend to be a little bit clumsy using him because he does go so fast. Metal Man for his all angles attack, and Flash Man for his straightforward shooting and his ability to stop time, which is really, really nice. Yeah, see, this is the penalty you pay for moving so fast, is that stuff like that happens, and you get nailed. Notice that panel in the middle? It'll shoot out a little spread of shots. Let's dash before it does it again. Yeah, Flashman is probably better here, so you can get those guys out of the way. Quickman can't really do that because his weapon is so short range. We'll just wait here. And climb on up here. Yeah, this is a pain because the stupid enemy is hard to hit. We'll go quickly across there. And for this section, believe it or not, let's go with Woodman. Because he'll just deflect those electric sparks from the panels. Pretty handy, huh? And these little minor enemies aren't much of a threat to him either. They'll just bonk into the leaves on his shield. Like that. Yeah, anything to get some life. Life is not exactly plentiful in this game. Especially not when I play it. Okay, yeah, you're never gonna cross this with Woodman. You need someone who jumps a little better, like anybody else. Alright, we're at the first half boss. There's two in each stage, just like in the original Mega Man 3. And you may be wondering who Doc Robot is going to imitate. He can't imitate the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters, can he? That's us. Nope, you're in for eight really fun fights. For this one, I won't give away who it is. Notice that Metal Man can shoot straight ahead like that, but if you shoot diagonally down and forward, you'll send a blade rolling across the floor. Yeah, get used to doing that because you'll need it in this fight. That's right, it's a clever remix of Iceman. Yep, you get to fight the Robot Masters from the first game. Send the Metal Blade across the floor, where it will go under his ice beams. If you don't send it across the floor, his ice beams will just block it like that. Now, be careful about jumping under the ladder. This game mostly has very good play control, but one thing that they screwed up is that when you're on the ladder, or when you're near that ladder, it'll screw up how you jump and move. So just kind of be careful. Yeah, and keep track of those swirling blocks. Yeah, it's not an easy fight. Again, hanging onto the ladder will get you above them, and you can just hang out there. Yeah, that's a fun fight. It's tough, but I have to admit, I love it. This is a wonderful screen for Flashman. Let's just freeze these doofuses. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and try to destroy them because they might give me some life and I could really use it. Oh, no such luck. Oh well. How about you? Will you give me some life? Uh, please? Yeah, they stole this from Gemini Man in, in the original game. That is Gemini Man's dock stage. Oh yeah, let's get that. Yeesh. Uh. Ah, uh, I thought I had it. But, remember, you can freeze those in place, and then walk on them to your heart's content. Yeah, this is a tough one. That's not so bad, but it's crossing this one that will give you all kinds of fits. I tried it. I've tried it in several previous takes, and it always kills me, so you know what? That is my way through it. Yeah, sorry if that's cheap, but... Hey, thank you. But that's what you need. Yeah, kind of like the original Top Man stage. I have to admit that I'm kind of liking Flash Man for this one. Okay, time for something new. Yeah, for a jumping section... <coughs> Pardon me. I'm gonna risk Quick Man's quickness being too erratic. Now notice there's a number on it. When that number reaches zero, it blows up. Yep. Not only does it move you back and forth and make jumping tough, they'll count down and they'll blow up on you. Yeah, it's a combination of top platforms and count bombs. By the way, watch, because some of them say zero to begin with. And if you touch one of those, it just blows up on you. Hey, look. I already have three, and that's why I'm not picking it up. Hey, my life's not full. Let's use one. There we go. I hate dealing with those missiles. It drives me nuts. Alright. Once again, if any of them say zero, do not get on. Ah! Die. Here, some of them are going to say zero. You want to aim for the upper left area here. That one says one. Ow, see? It says zero. Now! You can't go across there, because those will blow up on you immediately. However, there is a way to do it. And that is our old friend, Flash Man. We're going to freeze him right about there, and walk straight across. Yeah, that's the boss gate. Whoa, look out. But it just so happens that this is where we can get the Vortex. Yeah, I'm waiting here. I'm going to wait here till I fill my Time Stopper all the way back up because I do not want to deal with these things. And when they're both in the background, let it loose, hop up through the directional platforms, and get the vortex. Okay, it is time for Bomb Man, and his weakness, much like it was in the original Mega Man, is fire. So, let's see what we can do. I'm going to pause for a moment because I might die in this fight. Well, I was right, and I did die. Let's go after this again. This is not an easy fight. But Heat Man is definitely your best bet. He's going to act more or less like the original Bomb Man at first, but then he's going to summon those top count bombs, whatever you call those things. So just be ready for that. Yeah, I love that part of the fight. It's all kinds of fun. We got lots of bombs. Ow. Hey, keep missing. Yep, so, yeah, look out. Watch out for the ones that say zero, because those are the dangerous ones. Well, if I'd done that well, I could have beaten him the first time. Oh well. There goes Bomb Man, and there goes our very first Doc Robot stage. Three to go. Little victory pose there. We will save it. You'll notice on the stage select, by the way, that over there on Top Man stage now, it says that I've gotten two vortexes. In other words, the one from the original Top Man stage and the one from the Doc Man stage. So, anyways, there's that. Let me show you one more thing. If I go over to Boss Replay, 
You'll notice I can replay any boss I've beaten, but if I choose the Top Man stage, I get a choice of the first Doc Robot, the second, or Top Man himself. So, that's kind of nice. You can choose to fight any of them again to practice. With that, I'm going to cut this video off. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.